today I'm doing a fall look with one of the newest holiday sets that I got at Sephora and it's from Too Faced and it's called A Few of My Favorite Things. Now I have um, pictures, swatches and all that goodness on my blog so click the link below and I'll take you straight to it so you can see what my thoughts are um, on this palette but I freaking love these colors. They're so amazing. You get such a good range of colors in this palette from nice neutrals to nice browns and you get those pops of color with the purples and a nice kind of wine berry color um, some greens, some deep teals you have a good mix of mattes, shimmers and metallics and a little bit on the sparkly glittery side of course you have the um, cheek products so you get two blushes and you get some of the, their famous bronzers which I have never tried any of their um, bronzers before, so this would be actually really cool. I'm going to um, give this a try and see how I like it, um, and maybe buy some of these full size. Um, it does come with a mascara, which I use in the video, and of course the um, Color Bomb um, Plumping Lip Tint. So all that will be towards the end of the video, um, and just some more info for you guys. So if you want to see how to do this really easy and wearable, appropriate for any holiday party, appropriate for work, um, just every day. I really love the way this turned out. I love, love this color eyeshadow and I'm super excited and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do and if you want to see how to do it then stay tuned. Alright, so the first step that I'm going to do is apply my Maybelline um, 24 hour color tattoo in Tough S Taupe. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to use a um, dome, like stiff dome brush. This is from Real Techniques and it's actually called the Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that onto my lids. I'm taking a stiff, kind of dense brush like this one here. And I'm going to go in with the color Bluff, which is a really beautiful metallic, um, kind of like a purpley color. It has a little bit of a bluish tone to it and it's just just beautiful. I'm going to take that and I'm, and I'm going to pack that right on top of that cream eyeshadow. And you can see how immediately it makes that metallic aspect of it just really pop on the lid. I think it's just so beautiful. And then with the edge of your brush you just want to kind of push it into the crease area. Don't worry about blending it into that area just yet. Just Focus the color on the um, lid part. You can take a fluffy crease brush and go around the edges to soften it a little bit. And this is going to help create a nice seamless depth in the um, crease area without being too dramatic or too dark. It keeps it nice and smoky. Taking that same uh, crease brush, going with the color Milk Chocolate, which is a light matte tan shade. And on the tip of the brush, just take a little bit of that and kind of overlap a little bit of that color that we use on the lid. Just take a little bit of it and kind of soften this and come all the way in the inner corner as well. Taking that same brush, going in with the color Wool Mint, which is a little bit of a darker um, matte chocolate color. It's a little bit more on the chocolatey side, so take a little bit of that and go right over the same area. Concentrating most of it on this outer V portion here because that's what we're going to have nice and dark. Alright, so then overlap a little bit of that with the dark chocolate, which is the darkest matte color and it's just a really deep, beautiful, sultry chocolate brown. It's really, really cool to have a color like this in your collection because you really can take any look up to the next level with that. So just applying that right to the outer V. And then kind of blending all three of those colors together. Now I want a little bit more of a concentrated effect, a little bit darker on the outer corner, so take a pencil brush with that same dark chocolate color and start applying that to this outer V here. Just keep adding it to this outer portion here to kind of deepen this up. But you don't want to take it too far up into this area, kind of stick to the crease and below. And then I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and kind of go right on this outer portion here as well. 
and do overlapping on the lower lash line with all three of those colors. Those dark brown colors really help add a nice sultry effect to the lower lash line, so just add a little bit of that and then blend it out with your finger. And if you want, you can take some of that bluff shade that we use on the lid and pop that on the lower lash line as well. And then kind of blend that color out a little bit. And then for my brow highlight, I'm going to use the color Cream Color Ponies, which is just a nice matte ivory shadow. And it's pretty much a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but um, just any matte skin tone color that matches your skin tone, just apply that to your brow bone area. And then a little bit to your inner corner as well. Right in here, just to kind of add a little bit of lightness to it. Then taking a smaller brush, I'm going to use a clean pencil brush with the color Snowflakes, which is a nice gold color. And it's a nice kind of true champagne gold color. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on a pencil brush and go right on this inner corner here. Just to kind of add a little bit of something extra. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that on the same brush and go right below the arch of my brow out to the tail end just to add a little something. That color does have a little bit of a sparkle so just be careful with it. Um, it can get all over the place and have little flyaways of glitter. So all I have to do now is tight line and add my eyeliner. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Eyeliner to tight line a little bit. But I'm going to use the Lorac Front of the Line Pro. It's a nice um, pen style eyeliner so I'm going to take a little bit of that really close to the lashes and just apply your eyeliner like you normally do. Okay, so next I'm going to add my mascara. I'm going to use the one that came with the set and it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And let me show you the brush mascara wand. It's kind of like a little bit of an hourglass shape. It's a little bit kind of cinched in the center. It's a little bit thinner there and it flares out on both ends. And just apply two generous coatings of this mascara or your favorite mascara. And I'm also going to take a little bit of it and apply it to my lower lash line. Alright, so now that the eyes are done, we just have to do a few finishing touches. And I definitely need some bronzer and, of course, some blush because no look would be complete without blush, right? So I'm going to be using just the bronzer and blushes that came with the set. And um, you get... Two blushes, a nice um, bright pink, a nice true peach color, kind of a little bit on the corally side actually. Um, the chocolate soleil, which actually smells like chocolate, it's got some chocolate in there. And then you have the sun bunny, which is a duo. You have a little bit of a shimmery, um, lighter tan here, and then a medium tannish color. They're both shimmery, and I think you can get um, that one in its own little compact. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this one here and I'm going to go on with the Chocolate Soleil bronzer which is that matte one. Mm, this smells so good. And I'm just going to lightly just dust that all over my face. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. But it's just going to add a little bit of color to my complexion because I'm pretty pasty. My tan is fading so... Um, Gotta do something about that. Oh, it smells like I'm putting cocoa powder on my face. It's actually pretty cool. I've never had a product that smelled like that before. I'm gonna take some under my jawline to kind of consume my little fluff here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I need any more? Maybe a little bit more here. And I just put bronzer pretty much all over. I don't. I'm not really big on contouring. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blush brush, my favorite brush for a blush, and it's the multitask brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to go in with the Melt Into Spring color, which is that nice matte corally color. And I like that you get a shimmer and a matte blush in here. A lot of palettes, they tend to put a lot of like shimmery things for your face if they include them in there, and I don't necessarily want that all the time. So, this is a really nice... Ooh. My brush is shedding. I tell you, those Sigma brushes shed a lot. And I kind of
kind of go overdo it with the blush almost always because blush is one of my favorite beauty products to use. So I'll just apply a little bit of that. That looks good to me. Then for my lips, um, this kit comes with, let me grab it, a um, Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb Moisturizing Plumping Lip Tint. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And Bee Sting. And um, I have pictures and swatches and all goodness related to this kit on my blog. So I put a link to it below so you guys can see the products up close and swatches of the eyeshadows. Um, and my thoughts on them. Um, but this here, I'm not really a fan of it because um, I feel like the name is perfect, Bee Sting, because I feel like it stings my lips a little bit. Um, a little too much. It's a little too uncomfortable for me. So I can do just a little bit of it. Like one swipe. Well, that was kind of two, but... Um, one swipe like that and rub my lips together. Now it takes about a few minutes, probably about a minute or two before you start to feel it, but then it starts to get warmer and you just feel like that tingling sensation and it starts like a tingle and then it starts getting more intense so if you don't like really in intense plumping things you're not gonna like that so I'm gonna go ahead and top that with my favorite lipstick from MAC and it's called Hue I'll do a little swatch for you guys it's a really beautiful light pale pink color I'm just gonna apply that right over that color bomb just like that I love this color. It's like one of my all-time favorites. I do recommend you must have this in your collection. Um, this Bee Sting has a nice kind of nudie color. I'll do a swatch um, here just for the sake of the video. Um, it's right there. It has a little bit of a light kind of nude color to it, which is nice. Um, I just wish it didn't sting as much because um, I would probably get a lot more uses out of it. But again, all my opinions and thoughts and stuff will be on my blog, so please check it out. And that completes the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and more holiday looks are coming. More dramatic ones, ones with false lashes. I'm going to go get some today. Um, and then ones with more of a deeper kind of vampy um, lip colors. So let me know if you have any requests for certain type of fall videos that you want to see. Or anything, nail tutorials, anything um, that you want to see because um, I will be more than happy to do those for you. Um, so a link for my Twitter will be below so you can go ahead and follow me and kind of stay updated and stay in the know of what's going on with my channel. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you as a subscriber of mine. And it means the world to me to have you um, as a subscriber. So if you can do the favor and do that for me, I'd appreciate that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.